Hi and welcome to Warframe Update 12.0.1 um, Point zero point two due literally probably first thing this morning because this only went live uh, at least update 12 did it only went live this says five hours ago I waited up for way longer than I thought I would be able to because I did not sleep on Tuesday night and regret it because I actually passed out about half an hour before this update went live I'm still half asleep, so bear with me. So, the first big updates to this. Uh, the hood, look in the top right there. Uh, your health and such is over there. Carrier's health, or your sentinel's health, is up there. Uh, there is other changes we'll get into later, but that looks way nicer than it did before. They have changed some of the hallways, as you can see. The consoles have changed pretty much everywhere. Oh, they added the rollback in for the controller. Okay, that I didn't expect. That's actually handy, because that makes me wonder if other things have changed with that, but we'll get into that one later. Having the rollback in the controller is actually handy, because I've missed that quite a lot. Anyway, when they change the lift, it actually looks much smoother now and actually moves a hell of a lot faster. All the hallways attached to it have changed slightly. There is other stuff, this is actually our clan labs. We have the the corpus one over here. This is actually, I don't know why it's called, it's got the corpus in here, but this is the energy one. And in here, this is where you find the first of the new weapons, at least the first we're going to come across. And that is the Jewel Sestra. Yes, this is researching. It is going to take three days for it to be done. Which means building these is going to be a pain. And this is where half of the bad news starts to come from. All four of the new weapons are located in the Dojo Labs. There's the second one, which also, again, is researching. There has been a bit of a hiccup with the cost on these as well which they are trying to correct, that's why there'll be a new update soon. I was actually looking forward to the rocket hammer and I'm midway through reading the cla the list of stuff they've added when I suddenly realise at the end of its new weapon, the phase melee weapon, they've all got weird names, um, you can buy them or it's part of the, all of them are part of the clan research. Which means even the new rifle that I'm dying to use is a clan weapon. Luckily though, and this is where the clan has amazed me once again, they're all researching. That is, we will now have everything in here researched. And that amazed the hell out of us because to be honest, I, when I found out these were in here, I was thinking it's going to take us ages to get these done. Every single weapon is in its research phase right now. And just opposite that, we have the new lab. Bow before the new lab. Oh. Doesn't actually look that good. You've got a uh, volts thing there. Not really sure what that is. Huh. Whirlwind. That's Banshees. So that is Valkyrie's Whirlwind at Uber. And that looks like the shield she puts around her. That, anyway, spoilers. And there they are, the three Warframes that are built in the Tenno Lab. Whoa, look at the mini-map. The other character is no longer a green dot. Oh, cool. Yep, that's a new Warframe there. Val uh, no, Valkyrie. Valkyrie was the previous one. That is uh, Zephyr. Actually looks pretty cool. I like the fact it's got claws as feet. Oh, it's gone. There it is. The feet are actually claws. Banshee and of course Volt. All three of them are now built in here. Research isn't really that much. It is way heavy on the uh, Oricon cells though. 15, 15. This weapon I managed to set off. Because I fell asleep I may have forgot to enable building for everybody so this was not able to be put in so I did rush this for costing me 450 goddamn platinum but this is where we have the problem. Uh, Zephyr 
6,000 oxium to build, just to research one part of it. And then we have this one that's 600. But obviously you've got to research all three parts of it, as well as the blueprint for the Warframe itself. Should mean that Volt and Banshee have been removed. As you can probably tell, I've got eight blueprints for Banshee because daily reward, none for him. But all of the parts are now located here. And really easy to get a hold of. They're not that expensive. You notice a lot of the stuff in here we haven't started off the research. As you can see from the button down here, it says start research. That is just because, well, I put most of my, well, nearly all of my stuff into that. So I haven't been able to put anything in anything. I will probably be putting all my money into these, so just to save other people doing it. I just got, I set this off and then realised basically they are going to be changing how much these cost again. Because these cost as a hell of a lot for the, okay the clan has nearly 300 people in here but uh, 6,000 oxium. That's a hell of a, that is way too much. That for a big clan is way too much. The uh, Moon Clan. But that's basically how you get the new Warframe and the new weapons. That kind of sucks to be honest. But luckily we did manage to get all the weapons set off. Uh, uh, that might take a while unfortunately. As you can see in the marketplace there is the new weapons. That rifle there I've been watching it in the uh, in the forums and it looked really nice. It really does. The rocket hammer also looks really nice. Has a really nice amount of damage to it as well. There's literally a, f a rocket that's meant to fire out the back of it. And it looks really nice. This twin Uzis as it said. It doesn't actually say it's twin Uzis there. They actually look pretty cool. They look like mini somas. But I'm not really sure how the clip's going to work in them. But they do look nice. And these, I think that's just a... I don't know. It's a weird weapon. Because I, I didn't really like them to begin with. But it's this thing. I want that so badly. I want it now. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. I'll try to. There's a new colour palette, which is Daybreak, which is basically, as far as I can tell, meant to cover all the times of day. You know, midday, dusk, dawn, yeah, vice versa. Uh, the blackness for night time. Actually looks pretty cool. And then you've got the whole pack of all of the stuff together. This I actually saw and thought, ooh, we'll buy that. But we came into the market this morning after setting that off to buy the blueprints for the weapons and we went into blueprints and we weren't there. That's when I realised it's clan research. What we want to do, warframes and blueprints. Yep, Banshee and Volt are gone. The only way to get them now is through the clan. Which is actually better because once the research there, there's no farming involved. I just kind of wish that it didn't cost 7200 no, and the rest. 78, 7800 oxium it's going to cost us just to research it. God knows how much more to build it. So that's a bit upsetting. Or you can just buy it for 275 platinum. The abilities actually look pretty cool. And as I say, the Warframe with them feet look really nice. I'm liking her. There is an alert here from Davo, or whatever the hell it goes by these days. This is going to give a pre-made former, which will replace the one I used building the Dojo Lab thing. Uh, it's a rescue mission. The problem is, if it goes anything like the previous one, because the last time we had this mission from him, uh, we got ambushed by the stalker part way through the mission. So with this one, oh, ooh, I don't know, maybe the harvester. I have not done it yet, as you can see with it still being there. So we'll see. This invasion didn't last very long at all. 
some of the new features added and I thought I'd bring in the most polarized thing I have which is Nova is you can swap where some of the polarities are so that one I can swap for that one or I can bring that one and have these three down there and them up there that's actually a really nice way of having that at least just for the empty page anyway you know what we're gonna leave that like that <gasps> oh no that is actually really bad conf because configuration A would have been s oh no this is B we also have an auto install feature which they've just added which actually goes really well it has somehow not sure how managed to take up 60 points while being format now the auto install it literally is just a random install of mods it'll put all the abilities in in whatever order it wants to it'll auto fill the ah, blah, 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 the aura space here and it'll throw in the other mods and actually it's the same configuration every time we press this button let's go to C no no can we just I haven't changed it when you go to C and try again it's just put exactly the same mods in again so yes it's going to autofill it's going to put in ones that work really well the uh, power duration isn't really needed for Nova but it's throwing that in there anyway you can see it's kind of tried to work with some of the let's actually put the maxed out mods in all of them are maxed and it's taken up all 60 that actually worked pretty well so there's some nice features I do like the fact you can swap these round that means you can just have a, a cleaner install it just makes it look nicer that's all so it means you can have your health next to your health and your ability your powers next to your powers and your rush next to your marathon your health next to your shields and it doesn't cost you anything unlike when you polarize and it costs you a former that however at least it doesn't seem to cost anything Of course I'm seeing that and I just watched my platinum go down oh you kidding me okay nope we've put frost on we've swapped some stuff around and it's still the same so nope it's free of course it has messed with the uh, polarities here and it actually takes all mods off when you do that so for the love of God remember to put the mods back in otherwise you're gonna jump into a game with an unmodded warframe as we found out when we tried to uh, use Nova here and <laughs> she has all her mods in what the hell oh yes because we did the B polarity ah Oberon's alternate helmet made it in didn't think that was actually going to make it into this uh, warframes and there is actually four new skins that made it in Frosts was already in. I'm just not sure which four skins made it in, which is what the annoying thing is. Oh, what the hell? Zephyr's alternate helmet is in as well. That looks vaguely just like Ashes. Um, where is Ashes? Looks pretty much like that that does look a hell of a lot like ashes with the uh, eye at the front but that looks pretty cool love to know which skin it is though oh Novas because we don't have Novas basically you'll notice by all the ticks we have the Sarens is another one and Volt there's three and Vorban that's your fall There it is. It looks pretty much just like that with the eyes at the front and the the head. That uh, Zephyr helmet. It is still a bit of a letdown. Them weapons didn't make it in here. But if these are dojo weapons and you can buy them in the marketplace, where's the flux? Why is the flux not in here? The Dera. And I am aware they were all both in the same lab. Ogris? No. That's a, it is a bit weird to have some in here and not others you can't really pick and choose between the two so having these in here it is a bit weird 
and at the same time I'm looking at this thing and I want to buy that so badly okay quick word of warning if you're typing away in the chat don't press enter while you're in the marketplace um, hmm I just bought a weapon I have to sell that I can't have a weapon that oh but that aside god damn I am going to have to sell this thing we cannot keep it it actually looks really cool the way the mouth opens and it shoots like seven rounds of lightning and oh I want to keep this but it does look really nice you cannot deny that there we can see Lotus's lips moving in the left there I do like that. The enemies on the uh, left there, the 39 of 39, well, 0 of 39. I'm still not sure about actually bringing this in here. The hood actually looks pretty nice if you hold down, well, if you bring up your gear, it goes into the middle. Problem here is that does not work with the controller at all. I still, I still got to test what changes they've done to the controller and the keyboard. So you do have to use the mouse to select these, like you did before. Was hoping they were going to add something that changed that. I'm trying to figure out what these three dots are in the middle of the screen. That goes a bit weird. But you can see we've got the abilities down here now. They're not up here. The abilities are down there. With the ammo and what level your weapon is. Swap it to the debt ray, you see it turns to a 30. Swapping the abilities is pretty much the same as it was. You can see we don't have the first ability there, but it still shows up as it did. Your power is in the bottom right there as well. That is just fitting into 720p, to be honest. The minimap, I like the red things. It's not a dot anymore, you can actually see them. Here's looking pretty cool hood. The camera is still pretty much the same. The scanner thing. Hot key for the win. Now let's see how this thing fires. Whoa. What the? Oh, it's gonna have limited range. Oh, it's still cool though. Look at that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is why I was looking forward to this weapon. Okay, yes. I'm gonna have to sell the damn thing and build it anyway, but. Live and learn. Don't be in the marketplace while using the goddamn text. Because I pressed enter twice and accidentally bought the damn thing. There you what the hell is that noise? Something's making a lot of noise outside. So they have also, before I forget, um, they've added the natural talent mod and the dead eye mod. The dead eye is an aura. And the training mod, I don't know, the natural talent even. It just says to play the new mod, the new mission types. Speaking of the Grenier map, the one from the event over Christmas time or the holidays or whatever you want to call it, the jungle is now live on Earth and it brings with it its own mission type, which we will jump to now. Okay, so basically the new mission type is King of the Hill. You've got to capture these nodes and hold them. The problem is I'm having controller issues. So. That's not working, and I don't just mean controller, I tried a different um, mapping setup and it has backfired on me quite bad. This weapon, actually, it's a shotgun weapon. Right, once this one's captured, I'm going for the next one. Oh, they've already taken one themselves. That kind of sucks. There's another one. Thought that was Valkyrie for the minute. Um, Valkyrie's got a new finishing move. Um, they have not just introduced that one aura mod into here, the um, not natural talent, dead eye, whatever it was called. They have introduced two. They have actually reinstated the uh, rush mod. That's a rush aura mod. It increases rush uh, running speed. 
Now I can see that one from here, so that one's still ours. There is one in there, which I'm assuming this guy's got because he was over there. So we will stay here and try and hold this one for now. As well as all that, there is a lot of other updates. There is a bunch of weapon changes where they now deal more damage and a lot of sound changes. And they've just taken this one, haven't they? Damn, this thing deals with quite a nice amount of damage. Yep, they've taken this one. It's upstairs. Still not figured out what them three dots are for, but one of them's blue now. And of course, while we're all here doing this, there is three unmanned ones outside. So you two stay here, and I'll run back to this one. God damn it, I should have known. I missed my slide. Slam them into the floor. There are changes to physique, steel mod, and rejuvenation as well. In the auras, the physique is plus 3 health per level now. Steel charge is plus 5 damage per level. And rejuvenation is plus 0.5% heal rate per level. Not quite sure what they were before because I don't really use them. I do on the right wall frame where it... I thought I saw a guy there, he just kind of passed out in front of her. Now, this mission type is actually like a defense mission. Um, every time we get this to 100, it will actually let us choose whether we want to continue or leave. And her in the corner there, she looks pretty cool. This is why I'm saying if we can hold off each one. I can't slide anymore. My controller is completely messed up. So I'm trying with the keyboard and slide is not working. <clears throat> they have changed what the costs in the dojo lab are. It is still stupidly expensive though. So change the spread all you want. If you give enough damage to a shotgun pistol, it'll still kill at range. She does look nice there. I mean the graphics look nice, not the air. Uh, here herself. The range on this is so bad. Multi shot on this will probably pose. Re probably look really nice. Holy crap, that is an enemy. Oh, yeah, there's a new enemy type, by the way. That guy. He just he basically does what Rook did. And we're gonna leave this. No, oh, oh, what? No, I guess we're going on. Even though I pressed left. I somehow ended up to the right. Okay. Can we... No? We're actually stuck carrying on with this mission. That's a nice bit of a glitch. But we'll, we'll take it. So, there is way too much to actually list. These videos... This video is going to be way longer than expected. So, we will fall in the water. Leave this off here for now. I will try and list as much of this as I can in the description. I will also put a link to the important pages in the forum for the rest of it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Where's this guy?